here you can see a, a large, I mean, it's clearer in the textbook, but it's pretty large, a large, large example from the textbook. And you can see registers, which we just said is a relationship. So registers is the relationship between staff, branch, and client. And what's interesting here is registers actually has an attribute on it as well. So a relationship, a relationship can have an attribute as well. And then when you later make this into tables, this would actually be, can be its own table. Um, and if you if you look, this ends up it does end up becoming a table registers. So while you can have um, staff and branch and client as entities and they have attributes, it is possible to have a relationship, um, in this case called registers, that has an attribute on it as well because this relationship has some additional information that you want to keep. You want to know the date they joined. So then in the end, that would be a table. And yes, it would link up to with the staff number and it would have the branch number and have the client number and it can have they joined this way everything. Um, it can it can link to everything. But it's something to keep in mind that relationships sometimes have attributes as well.